Well, joining us right now is uh, a renaissance man. <laughs> you know, I, I tell you what, brother. Uh, it takes one to know one, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, with me right now is uh, Mr. Jim Pruse. Uh, he has owned Panoptic Media for the past 25 years. Jim is a writer, a musician, activist, occupier, and was a one-time candidate for the United States Congress. Most recently, though, uh, Jim has uh, issued a book called World 5.0. Why don't you tell yes, us sir. about it, Jim? Uh, well, the idea of World 5.0, Ron, which is, is just so basic and yet so foreign to us, uh, makes me crazy. It's really just a, another word for life. Uh -huh. We recognize with World 5.0 that life is happening only now. So when you say we are one, and a lot of people are, have sort of a general sense, yes, I guess we are one, but we are one right now, and only right now. It's the only place in time that exists. So you're talking about present moment awareness. Present moment awareness, I uh -huh. am indeed. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's the, what I call the first truth. The second truth. Yeah, right. There are three truths. Three right? truths. The power yeah. of our intent. Okay. That darn internet has a lot of information out there. Um, but the power of our intent is the second truth, which is just now that we know we're here and grounded in life, how are we going to play it? Are we going to be angry? Are we going to be hurt? Are we going to feel like a victim? Or are we going to say, what my best way to play this moment? is to be as helpful and as fearless as I can be. And that is the choice I'm making. And the third truth, very simply, is here we are. The choice is ultimately between fear and love and the recognition that only love makes us happy. So it's pretty much that simple. Got a few other things in there about all changing the world, getting rid of corporations and things like that. But I, as you well know, life coach, it starts with us. <laughs> It sure does. You can't change the world until you change yourself. And it's pretty interesting. Once you start changing yourself, uh, the world starts to change, doesn't it? It very much does. Yes, and that's a great recognition. Yeah. I, I love how you say uh, that uh, you're a child of the 60s. And, I am uh, indeed. Uh, a Catholic guy from here in Cincinnati, Ohio. It sounds like a lot of what uh, you're into, Jim, um, might, be, might be calling you a mystic. Well, uh, Ron, that's a term I've never used for myself, but certainly spiritual and certainly curious. Ah. I have been curious about the nature of things my whole life growing up, especially as a teenager. Uh, when Actually, we had a couple of seminarians that would come to the house, and then uh, we would have our talks, and... I would question them about things like, well, if God is all powerful, why does the devil kick his ass, if I may? And, uh, you know, if, all, if God is all good, where does all this evil in the world? And, and those kind of questions uh, didn't really get an answer to until I read A Course in Miracles when I was in my 30s. And mm -hmm. I found that highly inspiring. Uh, and so then, 15, 20 years later, I'm walking my dog, and this idea of World 5.0 pops into my head. I don't know what it means, but I knew it was a big idea. And so that's led me down this road. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the power of intention, the time is now, and the answer is always love, are three big things I took away. You know, it's interesting. Uh, the answer is always love. Why is that the answer? I think just about every performer and uh, most of our audience understands that, right? Mm -hmm. um, because fear turns into hate and worry and stress, and um, those things don't help us. And especially with all the musical performers we know, you, you cannot play when you're afraid of that note. <laughs> You've got to be with the flow. You've got to feel the vibe of energy, of being together with other players. And 
That's how we roll. Yeah, <laughs> my man. <laughs> you know, the answer is always love is probably one of the hardest things, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's taking me 30 years since I figured out that that was really the, the thing to focus on. So, mm -hmm. yes, it's not an overnight. Uh, actually, I'm sure there's some people that are far more gifted than I am that can make that journey a bit more quickly. But for me, it's taken 30 years. Yeah, well, you know, it's all about process anyway. <laughs> it absolutely <Okay>. is, yes. <laughs> as long as we stay in the process, you know, the, the fruit will, the seeds will bear fruit. But we need to stay in the process. And I like how you say uh, the root of a lot of stuff is fear. You know, sometimes when, when I'm getting all worked up about, you know, what's going on in the world a lot, et cetera, et cetera, you know, I'm in touch with my anger. And it's interesting, uh, I can forget <laughs> that the answer is love. Because when I love, my personal suffering is lessened. When I'm all jacked up, <laughs> it may, I may be feeling righteous, okay? <laughs> but I'm right. kind of suffering behind right. it. Well, or, or that becomes like a sugar high where you know, rah, 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 rah. Right. Should yes. I have done that? Should I have said that? You know, yeah, so. very well stated. <laughs> well, hey, Jim, uh, where can people get a copy of World 5.0? It's actually called, the full name is World 5.0. We move from here because just to restate the obvious, we're here in life and we're always moving from here. And it's available on amazon.com. All right. Hey, Thanks brother, so thank you. Much Great. love to you too, okay? And to you. Thanks All right. right. Jim Pruce, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you. So uh, we're going to move along now into uh, another musical segment that's going to uh, feature uh, uh, Flora Leptek Moreau, Drums for Peace, and Jim Pruce and his band Pockets of Sanity.